house followers. Today we are going to be making a macrame plant hanger. Um, so I do have my two millimeter cording, macrame cording. You could use something larger if you want, but I am doing a smaller pot. Um, so I personally am using that smaller one. And then I have a two inch um, brass ring here. And that's just so that I have a hanger. You could go ahead and make a loop with the cording itself, but I like to have something solid to hang it from. So let's go ahead and get started. I did go ahead and get my cording all cut. So I have six strands here cut into four and a half yard pieces. So I will end up folding these in half around this ring. So I'll end up having double the amount of string. So I'll have 12 and then they'll go into um, sets of four. So you'd have four there, four there and four here. So I am doing a three branch macrame holder. If I wanted to do four, I could go ahead and add two more strings at that four and a half yard measurement, and then I'd have a four branch one. So I'm gonna go ahead, I have a little hook here to hold my um, brass ring, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put the ends through, and I'm gonna pull it through until it's about half, until it's halfway. Okay, so that's halfway there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and now we're gonna wrap this so it has, um, so it's nice and tied off. So I'm gonna take a little bit of extra string. What I'm gonna do is have one of the ends going up straight and then I'm gonna make a loop. So I created a loop. See how you got the one here and right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap over the string that we, the first end that we put going up. And I'm just gonna wrap around. And this comes down to a design preference. I'm gonna do it about seven times, but I could end it right there if I really wanted to. And I believe that's seven. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that end that we were wrapping around and I'm gonna go right through that loop that should still be there. And then I'm going to hold the bottom and pull the top one. And that's gonna pull that knot right up underneath so it's nice and hidden. And you won't even see it. And then what you wanna do is you wanna come in with some scissors and just cut the extra string off, just like that. And then you have a cute little tied off end up at the top. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and separate our strings. So we wanna do them in groupings of four, and you wanna pull the four that are closest to each other. So there's four. Um, these four look like they're the closest together and then the other four. And you want to make sure you go all the way to the end, getting your cords all separated out. Okay, so we're taking this far left hand branch and what we're going to do is start with a square knot. So we're going to take this right hand side cord over the top and then this bottom left hand one is going to go under. Now from here, you wanna make a loop. So the top one is gonna go under, get looped under here. And then this bottom one, you wanna come up through. And then you're just gonna pull your ends all the way up so they're nice and snug. And you're gonna just repeat the opposite. So this one is gonna go over and the other side is gonna go under and you're gonna come up through and you're gonna go down. 
and then just pull tight. And you have your square knot. So square knots are a two part knot. So we're gonna go over with that right side and under on that left to start with. You wanna bring the top one under, your bottom one up through the top. And then you're just gonna pull that up. And then we're gonna repeat the opposite way. So this one goes over, this one goes under, and we're gonna pull it up and through. And this one's gonna go down and just pull it nice and snug. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue this for about 18 knots and then I will be back. Okay, so now my 18 square knots are done. Um, if you're trying to figure out how I am counting that, each time that you kind of see it come up making a loop, you can count each one of those, and that would be one. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Um, I could also roughly just measure and be like, okay, I want it to come down this far. Um, but it's just as easy to count the little knots. So now what we're going to do is we are going to make a twisting square knot. So to do that, we're going to do, we're going to start out the same way. So I'm going to go right over everything and we're going to have that left one come under. And then again, the top string goes into down under the loop and then the one below comes up and through the loop. And you're just gonna pull tight. Now, instead of alternating it and having my left side go over, we're gonna keep it where the right consistently goes over. So our right, and then we're gonna go back under with the same side. And just pull it on through. And we're just gonna keep repeating that. So right, over and you'll start to see it's not going to lay flat anymore it's going to start to curve see how it's curving there so when you alternate it it lays a flat square knot but when you're only doing the one side it's going to start rotating this which will be really beautiful so we're going to go right over, left, under, pulling that up and through. So I'm just gonna keep doing the same pattern over and over until I have maybe two more full twists all the way around and I will be back.
Okay, so I am finished with that spiral knot. Look how beautiful that is. Um, again, I just did how many of our little um, swirls I wanted to. And now we're gonna go ahead and start on that middle strand and repeat the same pattern. So we're gonna repeat the same pattern. We wanna make sure we are getting the right strings here. So I have the four strings, I have the right outside and the um, left outside, and we're gonna start with that flat square knot to begin with. So we're gonna start with that square knot, and we're gonna go right, over, left, under, pull through the loop, and then your top one pull down and then pull it nice and tight to the top. And then you're gonna go opposite. So our left side over, right side under, and then pull the top string under and the um, bottom string up. So we're getting that classic flat square knot. So over, under, and pull your strings through. And then switch it up. So your left goes over, your right goes under. And then pull it nice and tight. So again, we're gonna repeat that for 18 knots. Okay, you guys, we're done with our 18 square knots, the flat one. Now we're gonna start our spiraling square knot. So again, we're only gonna be going over with that right side. So over, under with that left, and then you're gonna pull it up and through the loop. And that right one's gonna go down and just pull it tight. So again, on the normal square knot, we'd go over with this, but we want this to spiral. So we're gonna keep that right one going over And we're gonna pull all of our strings through the loops. And after a couple of these, you will start to notice the knots start to spiral. See it starting its pattern of spiraling around. And I will just keep continuing this until um, I am even with my completed one over here. So stick with that right and go over.
Okay, so I am done with that second one. They are even, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up that third one. And again, we're gonna do the same knots and I'm just gonna, and then we'll be back when I'm done. Okay, so my three are all strong. If you're doing four, you'll have um, four of these all done. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, again, kind of separate them out. And we are gonna make a spot or like what I like to call a little net for our pot. So you wanna grab your two cordings that are closest to each other and then the strings that pair up to each other. So you're gonna grab four so either you can eyeball how much space you need to have your um, cords here, or you can go ahead and bring your pot and kind of measure this. I like to do two knots. So we'll do these two and then another two to form our little net. But I just kind of tend to eyeball it. So let's go ahead. So we got these two and we're gonna go ahead and do that square knot again. So over and we're gonna bring these under. And I'm gonna pull this string under here. So let's see what we got here. I'm gonna kind of position this where I need it. So I'm going about two inches down two and a half to three inches down for my pot. And then we're gonna finish that square knot. So taking that 
left side over and that right side under, pulling it up through the loop and taking that top string down through the loop. Okay, so I got to kind of adjust, readjust my knot here because it moved on me. So just kind of keep it nice and light. Keep it loose and then I'm going to go ahead and pull those two strings. So I have my first square knot. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the next left two strings and we're gonna do the same. So these two are gonna be in the center. We're gonna go over and under. Pull that through. We want to make sure they are about even. All right, so let's finish our square knot. So that right side goes over and that left side goes under. And you want to pull them through the loops. And then let's go ahead and make this knot nice and tight. Since we got it in its spot. Okay, and then we're gonna do our final knot. So I'm just gonna rotate this. So we got our two middle strings. We're gonna go over with that right side and under. Then bring them through their loops. And again, trying to get about that same length. And then we're gonna go over and under with the right. and just tighten that knot. I don't wanna to go too far up, so I'm making sure I'm pulling everything that I can. So now from here, from here, all of my knots are lining up. Okay, so we're gonna take the two knots by each other and we're gonna get those outer ones all lined up and we're gonna create another square knot about the same distance down. these up and over, make them nice and snug. All right, now right side goes over, left side goes under, and we're just finishing up that square knot. Okay. So now, now we're gonna go to that right side and we're gonna go ahead and connect those next two pieces. And just again, a square knot. So we're just, whatever distance you feel is right for your pot or you can measure it out. And we're making a little kind of mesh holder for them. And then finish our square knot. OK. 
Okay. And then we have one more to finish. Okay. So I have my last string that so did not get its second knot. So I have my two in the middle and we're gonna again do that square knot. You will be a pro at square knots by the end of this project. Okay. So just get it the distance you need up. Continue finishing your second part of your square knot. Okay, and pull, pull it nice and tight. Now what I like to do is I do try to um, put my little um, tail end kind of the same distance as my knots. So, and we're gonna come in with another string and just like the top knot that we tied, we're gonna have a string going up, we're gonna make a loop, and then we're gonna wrap that string around. And I'm gonna keep it the same as my top one, and I believe I did that seven times, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this around seven times. And it, this is a style preference. So how many other times you wrapped yours, you can match or you can do more wraps if you want or less. Um, I just try to keep it even. To the top, that's a preference of mine. Okay, let's see how many that is. One, two, three, four, and one more. And I'm just gonna make sure I have these all tightly together. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have that string come through that loop. And then I'm gonna pull that string. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep pulling that so I can get a nice firm knot. And what that's gonna do is also hide the knot so I'm not gonna be able to see it. But what I wanna do is go ahead and trim off the extra. And then I want to make sure my ends are all even. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to trim. And I could free this if I want or just leave it how it is. I'm going to go ahead and leave it. And then I'm gonna put my pot in it. All right, you guys, look at that. So fun. It is nice and sturdy. I ended up changing my pot, so I actually um, have my little knots a little bit more spread out than I'd like. But you know what? It still looks so darling, and it's so easy to create. Thank you so much for following along, and happy crafting.